contract subcontract is Noify, start by entering your vendor screen and we'll want to classify the vendor as a subcontractor. We'll use the example of subs contractors here. You'll see when we hit the edit button, under vendor type, it's set to subcontractor. And if you need to track time for this vendor, for instance, if they're a 1099, then you can enable subcontractor's resource to set up a rate and enter their hours against jobs. Once the vendor is classified as a subcontractor, you can click on their name in the Manage Vendors screen to upload documents that are relevant to this contractor. When a document is uploaded, you can classify what type of document it is and how long until it expires. Setting an expiration will also help when you're running reports on subcontractors or if you're going to enter a subcontract to make sure that all of their documents are up to date. And you can classify this document as an image, a license, general liability, workman's comp, or W9. We'll go ahead and select general liability, and this document will be saved on file with the vendor in Noify. Next, to enter a subcontract into Noify, go to your list of contract jobs and open the relevant job that you'd like to enter the contract for. You'll specifically want to be in the plan and track section of the job. And we'll want to make sure that the specific phase that the subcontractor is working on has subcontractors enabled as a cost category. If needed, we can also enter in a subcontractor's budget here as well. Then once this plan is active, we'll be able to go to the subcontractor's category of this phase and add a subcontractor. When we select this option, we'll be prompted to select who the subcontractor is and we'll use the vendor that we set up earlier. Then we can enter in a description of the work that they'll be doing and the total value of the contract that we've signed with this sub. We also have the ability to manually set a PO number and a PO date as needed as the subcontracts will be managed through the purchases system. We'll also be able to see the documents that are uploaded and when they expire, so that way we can see if any expired documents are on file when we're adding this sub to the job. This will generate a PO, which can be sent to the vendor if necessary through the purchases screen. And if we expand where it says subs contractors, we'll be able to see a breakdown of their contract value to date, and we can start logging bills against the contract that we uploaded. Noify will remember the outstanding balance of the contract, so you can key in how much is being billed in this period, and the next time you log a bill, it'll know the new balance based off of how much was billed versus the total contract value. When the bill is logged, you'll also have the ability to log payments, including partial payments, against the amount billed to date. This way, Noify can give full reporting on subcontractor budget, contract value, billed to date, and paid to date and it'll all be shown inside the phase under the subcontractors tab for this specific subcontract. We can see our current committed cost versus budget, and when we expand subs contractors, we can see contract value, billed to date, and paid to date. From here, we also have the ability to add change orders that are relevant to this subcontractor's contract. When you click Add Change Order in the bottom left corner next to Add Subcontractor Bill, You'll be prompted to enter in a description of the change. It could be connected to your catalog of products and services if needed, but it's not mandatory. You can enter in the value. And when you submit this, it'll adjust the contract value on the PO that's created for the specific contract. Now the contract value is updated, and when we log a new subcontractor bill, Noify will know the new updated value of this contract and we can log bills against the additional balance that was added via the change order. If we need to see which subcontractors need to provide us with more up-to-date documentation, you can run the subcontractor report in the vendor section. This will give you a list of all vendors in the account that have been marked as subcontractors and let you know what documents are on file and when they expire. And if you need a report that runs across an entire job to show different subcontracts and their current status of billing, you can run the subcontractor's billing report in the reports section of a project. And you'll get an Excel sheet that shows all of your open subcontracts, the total value, the remaining balance, the amount billed to date, and the amount paid to date as well.